Hello, uh, I'm Anson from YFI Foundation Technical Education Team. In this video, I'm going to talk about what you should take into consideration when nominating uh, validators. So first thing first, uh, to participate in staking, you should have some KSM or DOTS token. Uh, you can transfer uh, your token to somewhere else during the staking. Um, Unless you don't want to participate in staking anymore, then you can submit an unborn transaction to the network uh, and then you have to wait a week in Kusama in order to withdraw the token while in Polkadot you have to wait a month so and you actually you can um, specify how many uh, tokens you want to stake to the network so that means you don't have to be to stake all your tokens to the network so this is kind of the basic uh, information you need to be aware of when you are designing whether you want to participate in staking or not um, so I will walk you through uh, how you can or uh, what kind of information you should take a look at uh, by going to the uh, Polkadot.js apps so I will put the link in the description below so you guys can easily find once you go to the pocket.js apps then you can click the staking page and then you should see the uh, all the active validators on the kusama network so currently we have over 100 validators and under the validator sections you should see the details of the validators such as how many stakes they have their nominations what commission way they have set and uh, uh, you should also notice that some validators are actually showing the name instead of address such as pure stake, genesis snap. So if you mouse hover on a little uh, green icon, then you should see the details of the validators such as their name, website, uh, the Twitter handle, uh, or even Riot's handle. So you, as a nominator, you can, um, based on this information to further determine to verify whether you want to nominate this validator or not because sometimes some nominators want to know uh, who is running this validator behind the scenes uh, they have any relevant uh, uh, experience uh, on running a uh, validator on other projects as well so you may ask why some validators are showing the gray icon instead of green because uh, uh, although they have provided these information, but they have not verified it yet. So this is the uh, main difference. So we are not quite sure whether this information is correct or not. Um, and you definitely want to know uh, who should I nominate in order to get the best ROI, right? So you can click the uh, calculator tab and then simply just by entering how many KSM you want to stick to the network say I want to stick 5,000 KSM and then you should see the uh, results immediately rendered by profit so uh, so say if I nominate the first one then for each error then I should get approximately 0 0.5 KSM uh, remember this number is just a estimation not the output number and if we want to know the details of the validator statistics so you can also uh, check this you should uh, know uh, these validators past histories such as their error points uh, we was and slash uh, take this example uh, we can see these validators sometimes get zero points sometimes get very high over 600 so if it is fluctuation too much then probably a warning signal to you so you should be careful uh, whether you want to nominate or not um, and uh, one more thing I would like to mention going back to this uh, section is uh, say uh, um, as a nominator you should also um, nominate as many validators uh, as many as possible up to 60 uh, you, it doesn't mean you have to nominate many but at least nominate few more because if you just nominate one or two validators and all of them uh, have not elected then you wouldn't get any rewards so so to reduce the risk of not getting any rewards uh, 
the best way is to uh, nominate few more validators. And uh, one more thing is uh, about the nominations. Take pure stick as example. Uh, you can see they have sixteen six nominations, but um, it doesn't mean it is a good indicators for you to to decide you should nominate because you can you can think someone could easily can create multiple address to uh, nominate to this uh, validators with a very small amount of uh, stake so uh, this is one thing you should uh, also be aware of and um, so if you have any questions uh, about uh, nominations staking uh, feel free to check out our wiki dot dot network. So that is pretty much what I would like to cover in this video. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.